Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's learn about how to get started with AWS SageMaker. So this video, uh, this recording will be divided into two parts. One part is uh, where I'll explain about uh, how to create an account. Other part is uh, how to create a domain and role. Uh, and then um, within the second part, we'll also have a, a getting started with uh, a Jupyter Notebook within the SageMaker. So as, as I mentioned, so the first step is to create an AWS account. And then once you created an AWS account, so you need to create a domain uh, and, and role. Um, and then once that is done, so you can log in, uh, you can go within AWS SageMaker to run a, a get started a simple notebook to build a machine learning model. So let's start. So how do you create an AWS account? Uh, you just have to go to aws.amazon.com. So I'll, I'll give the detailed uh, description and, and, and the URL also in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the description, in the video description below. And then the AWS Amazon has given their own uh, instruction, uh, official instruction how to get started with the screenshots. I'll walk you through the steps. Uh, once once you know you create an account uh, so you can log in with this uh, url I'll, I'll mention all these urls in the in the description below so i already have this url open this is the url this is the url all you have to do is click on sign up so because i already logged in it's giving me this option but you can click on this if by default it will it should show you or oh, create an account uh, because I lo logged in multiple times it is directly asking me to sign in if you get this screen just click click on create and uh, create a new AWS account it will take you to this uh, page where you have to enter your uh, email address and then the name name can be any anything you can give your name but the email ID should be a valid email ID um, the AWS also uh, has recommended not to use your work email ID if you are using AWS account for your personal usage. Uh, I'll show you those those steps. Uh, how what what is their recommendation? I have opened this URL here. Uh, this URL is already uh, opened here. So this is the first step. I copied the same thing which I showed you from here itself. The moment you um, go here, it choose a create an uh, AWS account have to enter your email ID and the name and then they have recommended clearly uh, if you are using for work don't, uh, don't uh, sorry uh, if you are using for personal usage we don't recommend using work email ID so for personal account you will get an code uh, enter verification code so you will be redirected so this is where you will be redirected to choose your password. Once that is done, the next screen is to fill your uh, contact information. It's a, it's a very uh, detailed document, step-by-step -step document to create an account. And then the third step is to add your uh, card details. They charge a very minimal uh, amount uh, up to one dollar or equivalent to your local currency. So they'll return you that amount back. Um, nothing to be worried as long as you are using your usage is within within free tier. So each and every service AWS has. So there is a uh, not each and every service, but most of the services which we use in uh, in databases, they, it has a, a free tier uh, limit. So for example, let's say Amazon EC2 uh, has a free tier limit. You can use uh, with minimal disk, with minimal uh, minimal RAM, and then there are specific number of hours which you can use it for free. So they'll you will they'll not you will not be charged as long as you are within the limit. So nothing to be worried. Uh, enter your card details, and then uh, you have to enter your mobile number here uh, again so you will get either you can choose an option to verify again you will also receive a code here 
Um, so you have to verify that. If you choose an option SMS, you will get a, a SMS as a code. You have to verify. And if you choose voice call, you will get a call uh, from AWS automated uh, uh, automated uh, system call. We just have to verify that. And this is important. Final step is uh, is to choose which uh, support you want to use. Basic support is is uh, is free if you are using for personal usage. This is the recommendation, and then there are other recommendations also from Amazon. And then there are a list of services what they support within 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 free, and then developer support, business support, and many other uh, you can choose. But again, if you are using for personal usage, which I believe so, so choose this one, and then finally click on uh, complete sign up. Once you do this, uh, this is very uh, I thought of creating my own document, um, but again, this is the official page uh, from Amazon itself, and it is very well articulated. And then with with the with the screenshot uh, given, so it's easy to navigate. Uh, please create account, and once it is done, you just have to log in. I'll again put this URL. You can also, uh, if you just click, it is also uh, it will automatically navigate you to the screen so you have to enter your email id and then once you click on email id it will click on next it will again ask you to enter the password and then that's all so you will be once you do that you will get this screen this is called uh, amazon management console aws management console so here you will see the services which aws has so we will be using sagemaker uh, amazon sagemaker I'll show you uh, in, in the next video, I'll show you um, how to create a role domain and then how to get started with the SageMaker. So that's all. Uh, it's a very simple, simple guide. There are lots of uh, documentation on this and then there are many videos as well. So this is a simple guide and you should be able to create an account um, with, in, with no hassle. Uh, as long as you have a valid card and then sometimes what happens is the bank declines uh, what I have faced is bank declines, uh, uh, you know, the transactions at that time, uh, even though you, it will not allow, it will not allow you to, or maybe let's say it will allow you to log into console, but you will not be able to launch any of the services um, because, because it is, it has not validated the card uh, fully. Let's say when you enter your card details, it will, Amazon will hit to the bank and bank will decline. So the complete transaction has to happen. They, they have to deduct a minimal charge like a equivalent to $1, $1 so that if that transaction happens, then uh, you would be able to, uh, you would be able to log into uh, console and then you can also launch a service. You'll receive an email if there's anything, anything wrong or bank declines or if they're not able to validate your card. Uh, if everything is fine, so this is the, this is the screen you will get once you log in because i have visited all of these services recently it will it is showing to me but for you it, it doesn't show all right um, that's all from this video uh, see you in the next video thank you for watching